Back to a nickel metal hydrate battery, a medical carts battery, live at JW Solar USA. Today, I'm going to show you how I'm going to be putting these batteries together. I have two of these boxes, okay? And uh, I have 30 batteries total. So if you see here, and I'm going to be fixing these batteries the way I want to do it. Maybe someone has never done it, or maybe they just crack them open, remove like the 18650 batteries in there, and that's not what I'm going to do. So I'm going to solder a wire right here for positive, okay, for positive, and a negative right here. So I'm going to leave these two terminals here. I don't know if this is a ground, it's a G, and... And a T, maybe it's for temperature sensor. I don't know. I can't tell you. And these batteries, I don't have much information about them. But it seems like they're good batteries. So we're going to start doing that right now. Live at JW Solar USA. These are the boss bars that I purchased. And I think if I want to utilize them, I can put all, solder all the terminals to these bus bars so that I can able to have a balance draw, balance charge on the system. I got my meter right here. And uh, we're going to try and test one of these batteries to see what the voltages are. Well, I've done it on my previous video. Um, but we're going to do this again for the sake of others that haven't seen this video is their first time so let's go about it so we're gonna put a negative right here like what I said earlier on the minus and one on the plus let's check the meter see that 13 16 so they, they, they vary still all right, let's go back here. I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so this is what I did. I went to the store, hardware store, Menards. That's it looks like Lowe's or um, all the other stores. Um, end up having speaker wire. This is a 14 two. It's a hundred hundred feet, and uh, it's good for. Direct burial audio cable, sunlight resistance, so all the good stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm utilizing this wire, speaker wire, so 12 ga it's 14 gauge, that approximately carried about uh, approximately 20 amps. It can handle, 14 gauge can handle approximately 20 amps, around that, roughly. 12 gauge, okay, 12 gauge is 20 and 10 is 30. So within that 15 ish, 15 is so 20, very close. Um, I can pull from this. These batteries are really just low on amps. These are five amps they can pull. So they're all gonna be parallel to all um all the batteries, all 15 parallel, all 15 parallel. I can do a series on it. To make it a 24 volt or i can just do a 12 volt system and get them into the boss bars all right right here is my uh soldering wire iron and uh, which is a uh, 100 watts it's too heavy or it's too hot i have several of them but i cannot find the other ones so it comes with this tree right here and i have my soldering And I have the flux right here if I need flux. Okay. So. Yeah. So let's see. Stay tuned. Here is the wire. I cut them in 16 inches long. 1.6 foot long. So that if I have to take these guys to bus bar, it's going to be long enough to stack them. And this is what I've done. I soldered it right there, and um, it's holding really well because I want to keep this uh, insulation on it. 
so that um, it, I don't want the wires to be all over, you know, scattered and it's just like potato uh, spaghetti thing. And I don't want to see that. Uh, I want things to be nice and neater, neat to be instead of being all scattered everywhere. And like those, um, how you call them, uh, BMSs wires. I don't, I don't like to see stuff like that. So here is a voltage. After my test, this is what it looks like. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA, live from Minnesota. Love you guys all. You will see part two when um, I'm all done put these batteries or solder them together. Live here at the command center of the JW Solar USA in Minnesota. So you've seen the other battery was 13 something when I tested it. And um, now I'm going to parallel these batteries to make them um, all balance. All right. They don't have any um, BMS built in them. I suppose that, yeah, according to my review, I don't think I have any BMS built into these guys. And um, I'm going to think about making them all 12 volt so that it can be all parallel and always be balanced. There's like 18650 batteries, I suppose, is in there. Stay tuned. One of these days, we'll probably open one of them and see how it works. All right, guys. This is uh, another session of the um, the work I've done. See the, all the wires? They're all 16 inches long. And these are 14.2 AWG wire. And I already set up. And I can be filming and... Um, solder at the same time so guys everything is working correctly and like i said i mentioned earlier is a hundred watts this thing here is hot so it's too hot for the kind of work i'm trying to do right here so but it did a fantastic job and everything is working good attach it and uh, get it to attach to the uh, gold um, um, copper plated. There's a stud underneath, so I welded this thing, and it's really sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So this is how I'm going to stack them. I'm going to all stack up on top of each other. And... Um, and the end's gonna be all the um, the serial, uh, the parallel connection. So all is gonna be 12 volts, and all of them. I've seen only one battery that's already like uh, uh, 13 something. So um, it's all looking good. I can able to take this and put it in a boss bar. I can just take the neutral, no, the negative, and pass it to the positive. On the other set of 15, then it becomes a, 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 a 24 volt system. But since the amperage is lower on these guys, so oh, there you go. That's the specs right there for you. It's a 12 volt, 4 amps. N I M H. Nickel metal head rate. See that? Okay. So 4 amps. So just put 4 times uh, 15. So that gives you... Well, anyway, guys. Uh, so it's 4 amps. 4 amps times um, 15 of the modules. And I have another 15 again. And um, the total... So I think it's going to give us 120 amps, the 30 of them total. Well, this is what I have for you. Stay tuned for the other part coming up soon. As we're going to be using threaded rods here. Threaded rods to get this guy all attached together. Just like dealing with um, when people normally say they compress batteries. Like how you do Nissan Leaf or other things. So you see the hole. So you get it all 
angle right and put a thread rod in there so we'll get them all stacked up and so that they can move around and get this thing works really fantastic thanks for watching guys and um stay tuned for more to come live from the command center of the jw solar usa in minnesota these are the wires 16 inches long so that i can have more clearance in case i stack them up it's going to build up in depend the way i'm going to put them in a case like the guy here maybe i can load them in here or I have the these other guys here. Remember, these guys. I can use them as well. I can subscribe. Boy, it's kind of rainy. The rain is coming. Oh, did you see that? The trees are going to town. Man, sorry, the camera light is on. That's why it's not the sun. But look at that. Every tree is going crazy. It's good for wind power. Sorry for the lights, is the camera. Oh my, my. Stay tuned.